The Halo drama that we've been covering on the channel just got a lot crazier. Release date revealed for Jedi Survivor, COD DMZ mode leaked out, as well as Battlefield getting to the fun, and a whole lot more. So if you want to know everything, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So pro player Spartan has been involved with a lot of drama recently. Find over $3,000 from the HCS teams as well as his own organization combined. Uh, he's been kind of taking a lot of heat and recently he just announced that he is benching himself from EU United, basically saying, I don't want to play for this team anymore. We put together this twit longer here, kind of giving out detailed explanations of why he's making this decision. A very hard decision because like this is how he makes his living is through playing Halo. And he cites very specific things, especially with one of his teammates, Ryan Noob, essentially being kind of the, uh, the source for a lot of the drama of the team right now. Which Ryan Noob has been known to kind of stir up the pot a little bit when it comes to just interactions between players. I mean, we do all remember that situation between Spartan and Ryan Noob on stage nearly got into a fight. Victory for Trifecta! And look at that! Oh my goodness, did you see that? Ryan Noob just getting right up in Spartan's face! Just obviously yelling at each other. The organization that Spartan's part of, E United, put up a tweet right here, kind of a post talking about the situation. It sounds like they're trying to look into possibly trading Spartan for another team. And they mentioned one team in particular, but not by name, but they say there is an organization that they are specifically reaching out to, but nothing official has taken place. I'm sure a big reason why this is happening right now, as E United first, you know, placed second at Raleigh, super great, but then they've placed third, and then this most recent event in Kansas City, they placed fourth, so they're kind of seeing this downward trend and seeing like, okay, we need to start mixing things up a bit. But it sounds like Ryan Noob's been kind of going behind Spartan's back to try to mix up the team dynamic a bit. And so that's what's kind of creating this drama. But since Spartan's not playing for E United, Pistola is still out there as a free agent. Can you imagine those two partnering up and creating another team, maybe another organization, maybe getting the 100 Thieves involved with this? As we do know, Nadeshot, when the Halo Infinite first launched, it did cite that he would be interested in creating a team for Halo Infinite if they could have a legitimate shot. And Spartan and Pistola on the same team, your team certainly has a shot, at least a top 10 shot for sure. But of course, this is a very developing story by the day. So if you guys want to keep up to date, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get into the next story here. Famed former Halo composer Marty O'Donnell looks to be shutting down his social media pretty much at large for the most part right now. I'm sure many of you on this channel are subscribed to him because he's been posting a lot of really interesting insights, especially he recently reposted recording process with Steve Fi for the Halo 2 soundtrack, but he removed all his videos and just titled a video saying, farewell with a sad piano playing in the background. So my assumption, even though he just recently reposted the recording session with Steve Vai for Halo 2 and then takes that down like a week later, it makes me think he's still dealing with these copyright kind of issues with Microsoft and probably just throwing in the towel going, you know what, screw it. I don't want to deal with it right now, which would totally be a Marty thing. And according to Marty's mods on Discord, this sounds like just as much of a surprise to them as they go like, well, the announcement that he posted right here, just the video itself, it's about all they really can answer about what's going on with the situation. I'm just making my assumptions saying that probably Marty is tired of dealing with copyright issues and all these different legalities when it comes to posting the things that he wants to post on his YouTube channel. Though they say this is not the end, it seems like it's going to be a quite a long hiatus, but of course this is a developing story. Once we get some more information, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. In some other gaming news, we have a rough release date time for the recently found out Jedi Survivor game, which most likely will be announced this next June as well. And a lot of people on this Twitter thread from Jeff Grubb, who is a very notable insider when it comes to gaming news and information, uh, cites right here saying in a reply to various posts here saying that Jedi Survivor is February or March, as in the time you should expect to see the release date of the game, which would totally make sense. Though Jedi Fallen Order was released, in November during, during those peak months of releases, we could see this probably get pushed back to kind of dodge out of the way some other really big game releases and also provide some more time for Respawn to polish the game up in a good way. Like this game I'm highly anticipating because the first game was 
just so good. The ending of this game is absolutely jaw-dropping amazing. If you guys haven't had a chance to play this game, pick it up on a sale if you can, because it's going to be an amazing experience. A perfect time right now, especially during the summer months, as we kind of get into a little bit of a gaming lull. This game right here would be a perfect game to play for the meantime. In some Call of Duty news, we have this rumored DMZ mode, which is supposed to be kind of like Escape from Targa, but of course, a Call of Duty version of it. A recent link talks about saying that how there will be a dynamic weather system, like a day-night cycle, kind of like similar to what we have with Red Dead Redemption 2, which we'll talk about later in this video. We got some news about that game as well. Though it seems like this weather system won't be tied to just DMZ because it seems like Ghost of Hope, who is a notable Call of Duty player and leaker, very credible play leaker, honestly, says that he thinks that there may be some kind of indications that this will transfer over to Modern Warfare 2 and how it could apply to Warzone 2, which is also the rumored update for Warzone. It would be kind of like a fresh start. So then once they start updating Warzone 2, then it would be a lot easier for the developers to make more progress when it comes to the development of that game mode. But saying that there will be things like a firing range, a theater mode, slash photo mode as well for an example, which I mean, we haven't had those features in a Call of Duty for quite some time, which would be great to see. I'm definitely looking forward to this game. In some Battlefield 2042 news, which, I mean, this game's been pretty quiet. It was not very well received, kind of flopped at launch. We even got some new management from Vince Sampella, who was the co-founder of Infinity Ward back then, and currently the co-founder of Respawn, who's now taken over the Battlefield franchise and taking the Respawn model of designing games. Which, if you guys don't know, former Halo designer Marcus Leto is also working on the Battlefield franchise as well. The CEO of EA, the big guy, Andrew Wilson, said this, saying that they're rethinking the development process from the ground up and really using the Vince Zampella slash Respawn model of get to the fun as quickly as possible, which certainly has been the issue when it comes to playing 2042. Andrew Wilson, the CEO, even said that the Battlefield 2042 game did not resonate with everyone in our community from the technical problems and the design choices with, that were made with the game as well. Now there was a big update that recently happened in April, which made over 400 tweaks and fixes as long as well as bringing in a freaking scoreboard for the game as well. And they're not gonna get their season two update until the summer, which I guess, you know, they're kind of like hand in hand with Halo. We're like, yeah, we're just trying our best to catch up with the game and, you know, put some content out there. Now, if you watched a recent video of mine, you probably saw me talk about mass effect the next edition of the game and how this poster was talking about how Shepard is going to return in the game well a developer out there said that mass effect store listing was mentioned Shepard was actually a mistake apparently but i find that a little hard to believe because what they said in that post was very specific saying Shepard's final quest may have ended the threat of the reapers but at great cost including earth itself while Shepard and the survivors are left to pick up the pieces fans are left wondering what's next because when i read that i'm like oh geez shepherd's back project director at bioware pretty official statement here saying that the original thing was written by people who run the store and aren't familiar with the game smiley face kind of thing but i'm like are they though because that seemed oddly specific to just have it just be randomly and oh it was just marketing they uh they messed it up a little bit i don't know it sounds a little too good to uh, not be true. Now, this might be a little bit of a conspiracy theory, but Mark Mir, who is the voice actor of Commander Shepard, posted this on his Instagram. This is fan art. He didn't create this himself, but he posted it like a day or two after all this news started breaking out. And it says, we're not really the retiring kind, which I can't remember if that's a quote from the game. I feel like it is, but if it's not, I mean, you're not helping out the uh, the dialogue when it comes to trying to squash this as being just like oh, a marketing issue and not a leak of the game itself. As the new Mass Effect game was announced last year, I'm sure next month here in June, we'll get some actual information about the next Mass Effect game, probably another trailer of some sorts. If we do, I guarantee I'll let you cover it on the channel because you can see right here, look at that. I got, I got the Mass Effect 2 squad on my wall. I'm a bit of a fan. Now it looks like Red Dead Redemption 2 might be getting a next-gen upgrade. A noteworthy leaker recently posted up on Twitter talking about, hey, they're looking to probably do some kind of upgrade to the visuals of Red Dead Redemption 2. So a very popular game like we saw earlier played on Xbox plenty of times right now. Though the interesting thing about this leak is that the tweet that caused this news 
is gone, which could either confirm that it's actual news, or maybe he just realized, oh gosh, this actually caught a lot of traction, and now I need to, if I'm gonna try to keep my reputation, I need to delete this because I'm not totally sure about it. Could be something like that, or it's a development story. Once we know more, I'll let you know on the channel. But if you're new to the channel and miss any content from me recently, check out all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.